Here we have the fluidized bed filter system by Rainbow Lifeguard. It's possible to put this onto any kind of filter system on the market. Um, but I have it running with the rest of the lifeguard system. Right now it's turned off, so none of the sand's moving. It's just settled at the bottom. When I turn the filter system on, you're going to watch the water push its way through the sand and start mixing the sand up. You can see the two lines. The sand should be at the minimum when it's settled, but it should never go above the maximum when it's turned on. So right beside, I've installed a valve right here. And this valve allows me to control how much water I push through here. So if there's too much water being pushed through, I can close off the valve a little. If there's not enough being pushed through, I uh, close it. If there's too much, I open it. I'm going to turn the filter on so you can watch how the sand starts moving around in there and you can see how fine it is. Right now, the valve is open all the way. So it's actually most of the water is bypassing the fluidized bed right now. And because the pump's so strong, uh, a little bit does come its way through the system here anyways. Um, as the mechanical filters get clogged, you'll watch this lower a little because the pressure isn't as powerful. And then you would adjust it by closing this bypass ever so slightly, which allows it to go up a little. And just the slightest closing of it brings it almost past where you want it. So you don't want it to go above that line, otherwise it's just going to flow right back into the aquarium. Now if it flows into the aquarium, it's not a problem. It's very benign sand, it's just a normal sand. And uh, the whole point of this is actually, uh, it tricks your aquarium into thinking there's more surface area than there is. Because all the beneficial bacteria lives on surfaces, not in water. So the water has to pass across the surface to help all of the ammonia, nitrates, and nitrates to get in contact with bacteria. When it gets in contact with bacteria that's holding on to a surface, it begins the chemical process of breaking, breaking it down. So this system here tricks the aquarium into thinking it's way bigger than it really is. And uh, you can put this on a small aquarium and essentially overstock it, what might seem overstocked to other people. Or you can put it onto a large aquarium and just help keep things st stable. It's really fluid when you watch it moving here up close. It's really neat to see how uh, the whole thing flows and works. So there you have it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, just post them. Subscribe also, please. Thank you.